this is test an error six issue in an indicator. So the first thing you want to check is your indicator itself. You will have a load cell connection and you have a cable that connects to your scale base. So what you want to check is run your hands through the cable and check from the cable that connects to the indicator if this end has been yanked out. If not, keep going. Run your hands to the cable. And if you find a smashed spot that's dented, this right here could cause your error six. In this situation, you will email us at sales at optimalscale.com. Link will be in the description and it will explain to you why you will need to get a new cable because this will cause instability and error six issues. If you keep going and you see a snapped cable, this will cause no reading because there's no end connected to your scale. So this situation, same thing, you will email us at sales at optimalscale.com and get a replacement cable. Next thing you will check is if your indicator itself is fine. So you check around it, see any damage for it. If it's been dropped recently, that could be the issue for your Air 6, but I recommend just continuing it on. But check for any damages around the shell itself. If that's fine, then you will connect it to your weight pad, your floor scale, whatever in scale you're connected to your indicator. But it connected to the 5 pin. You, check, you see that I have a weight pad in here. And when I stand on it, if I get an error six, then that could be an instability issue, which just leads to calibration. So it's a relatively simple step. Make sure your indicator is turned on. With your scale base on, press the hold and print button for two seconds. You'll see C01 appear. Press the print button. In my case, I have C12. The two just means it's gonna be in pounds. So for US customers, the two should be fine. And if you're gonna weigh in kilograms, you could just press the tear button to make it into one. Now, whatever you weigh something and you first turn it on, the default will always be kilograms. For most of our customers, keep it in pounds. You see C02 as your next setting. Press the print button and C20. C20, the zero just means there will be zero decimal places. If you want one decimal place, put one and two by pressing the zero button to increment or the chair button to decrement. So in my case, I want zero decimal places. So I keep C2 at zero. I press the print button, C03 appears. Now press print button and you see C31 appear. C31 just means one division. So when I weigh something, if I go from 154 to 155, I'm just adding, incrementing by one. If this was a two, if I add one pound to it, it'll go from 154 to 156. And if you go at five, it'll keep going up by fives. So instead of 150, it'll go up to 155. 155 to 160 and so on this is 10 so most people probably one's fine depends on your scale you could ask test support for more details on which setting to use for divisions but most people within one pound increments one pound accuracy it's good enough for most people c04 will just tell you what is your max capacity so in this case it'll be 10,000 pounds this depends on your scale that you're connecting to could be a floor scale, could be bench scale, could be weight pads. This will be whatever the maximum weight you can handle. If my weight pad, for example, can handle 20,000 pounds, you will see the flashing number. You'll move left. Keep pressing the units button to press go left until the one is flashing. And I can make that one to a two, pressing the zero button. Now it will be 20,000 pounds, max capacity. If you don't change this, and let's say you try to put 15,000 pounds on something that has 10,000, it will just say overload or use. So this could help you out on C04. 
So if you have your max capacity to scale, my example could be 20,000 pounds, that's set. And you can just make it whatever you want it to be. Press the print button, like this C05. This will be your zero calibration. So first, when you're at C5 and zero, check your scale base. You see, in my situation, there is nothing on my scale. This is very important because this will be the zero weight when there's no weight on the scale itself. C50 with no weight on it. That's good. Press the zero button to make that zero into one. So now C51. With nothing on the scale, you check under the scale, no, no bolts, no objects underneath it. Make sure that everything's clear, that everything that should be on scale stays on scale. Now C51, press print. It'll count down to C10 to C0, and have zero. This is a good sign. This means that there's zero weight on the scale, which is what you want. C06. This is your weight, your calibration weight that is needed for calibrating. So this, in my example, will be my body weight of 155 pounds. Whatever test weight you're using, that will be your situation. We recommend having 10% of the max capacity. A 10,000 pound scale, we should use a weight of around 1,000 pounds. If you have a scale of 500 pounds, then maybe 200 pounds will be fine. But a lot of times you could use body weight. So C06 would be calibrating weight. Press print and it'd be C60. So now we're trying to enter in what our weight's gonna be. Make this to one to enter in your load calibration. It'll say span, which is good. And you'll dial in whatever your weight you're using. Mine's 155 pounds, but if I was using an example of 1000, You make the units button to go left. We then to zero. Make that to zero. And then I would increment the one. So that'll be 1,000. If you're trying to do, if you're 200 pounds, you make the two in the hundreds place to two. Press the zero button, go up, and tear button to go down. In my case, 155. Now, you have your weight. Now put your weight on scale. In my case, I'm standing on scale. I am now standing on the scale. My 155 pounds is what I'm using for my test weight, but if your test weight is 100 pounds, you put your 100-pound weights on your scale itself. Keep the weight on the scale. When you weigh on the scale, you'll see that your calibration weight matches. Make sure it matches. If your weight's 1,000, you make sure it's 1,000 and you'll be pressing the print button. You'll see countdown, and you'll see some random number. Then you'll see cal end. This is when you step off the scale or remove your weight from scale itself. For my case, I'm standing off of it. Cal end, that's good. Press print, and you'll see C07. That's good, you're done with calibration. To save and exit, press the accum button. Now your scale should go to zero. That's good because nothing on scale. Now test it out. Stand on it. Let me see if I get it correctly. And one common question I get is will the calibration save if I turn it off? And if you turn it off and even turn it on later, your calibration will save. So you don't have to do this process again. So this should help you with calibrating and fixing your error 6 issue on the OP900.